Today we're going to design a Craftsman door frame using Fusion 360. Thanks for watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here is setting uh, some lines to go off of for the size of the actual door that I am going to be building these craftsman style frames for. And uh, this is actually a project that I am in the middle of doing. It's an addition at a house and it has also been the reason I have not been posting as much because I have been working my day job and then doing this on the weekends and sometimes in the evenings so it has taken up a lot of time but uh, this is where the project is it's towards the end and I'm putting in some frames I actually put in frames that I did not like the uh, there were some cheaper ones from a big box store and they just look cheap so I wanted to go back and take them out and put in craftsman style uh, door frames. so that is what we're doing here so simply Getting the idea of how tall your door is going to be would be the first thing I would do, as well as the width. And you could actually use uh, parametric modeling on this, which I didn't. Uh, I was just going to draw something up to show the customer more than using this to make a material list. But you could surely do that as well if you're going to do a bunch of doors. That way, whenever you print up at the very end, your blueprints will have all of the quantities of the actual lengths and widths that you will need to do as many doors and frames as, uh, I'm sorry, as many frames as you need. And this will work on window frames as well. This style, obviously, you've probably seen it before. Um, but anyway, getting right into it. Now you don't have to necessarily put in the door, but again, this was more of a visual for a customer. So I wanted to show the door frames in relation to the actual door that would be in place. Now it would not be a flush door like this. It is going to be a um, shaker type door is what I call it. Uh, that's going to be custom made to go into this opening. But for the sake of aesthetically showing something to the customer, a regular door with the uh, doorknob and hinges at the right heights is a good idea to show them so they know what they're going to get.
Now you don't have to necessarily put the blocks at the bottom, which is going to be a material that will be thicker uh, than the upper pieces. It's just an added uh, look when you do these type of frames. Looks a little bit higher end, I guess you could say. So these will actually be two different pieces, which you'll see whenever I go to extrude later.
Okay, this is what I was referring to earlier. There are several ways to do these blocks. Um, in my case, I don't really need to get it right as far as making sure that these are going to be a separate material on my part list because I know what I need. I just want to show the customer. So what you would really want is the full width on one piece shown here instead of So I wanted to show you also here adding in a wall. That way you can give even more of a perspective because this is the door frame. So you know you really want to see what it's going to look like on a wall. So that's exactly what I did here. And something I did wrong at the uh, first go around, which I may have taken out of this video, uh, was that...
there you go. Hope you liked it, and I will do another video and hopefully get out a lot more once this project winds down, which it looks like it is. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you're seeing, and there are some pretty funny videos coming your way soon too as well. So I will be adding those for some tool reviews, etc. Thanks.